Mighty sweep, okay? Here, and, and what happens here is he gets his knee out, and he grabs his own ankle a little bit, okay? Um, both things can be, come over here. Both things can be avoided by having my shoulder or my neck against his leg, okay? It's really my neck. Both things can be avoided by having my neck against his leg, so what I'm really doing is dropping my, my shoulder here, okay? And I'm using my feet, okay, to drive into him. And what that does, it gets me neck tight, and it kind of takes a lot of the pressure off of this wizard here, okay, right here. Now I can start to kind of flatten him out a little bit, okay, start to go behind a little bit. But the guy here does a very good job of leaning in, okay, and getting weight in. Now, one of the other things that the offensive guy does that's pretty interesting is he starts to throw his foot over the other side. Now, it didn't work out, but I've seen this work more and more frequently. Here's what's interesting to me about it. I was always told never to step over here because as I do this, he starts to get his hips up and he's gonna throw my, he's gonna kind of buck my hips off, right? But if you notice, there's a couple um, guys around here that are doing it, uh, a couple guys across the country that I've seen do it. Um, they're not throwing their hips all the way over the back. They're just throwing just their leg up. Okay, so as he starts to get his knee out here this way, guys are throwing, they're getting hip to hip here, but they're not getting their hips all the way up. They're just throwing a boot in right from here, and then they're kind of limping out. Pretty effective technique. Very few guys that can pull this off, okay? Because what happens here is if I don't get my hands locked, it's now his whole body against my chest, really. Okay, I'm trying to squeeze in against his, you know, upper back to upper leg. I mean, it, it's it's not a, it's not a fair fight. So when, when fight fight the urge, it always looks good, right? To get to here and go cradle, it generally doesn't work out. Um, the one thing we will do there, though, is kind of fake cradle, right? Because right here, one of the things that's keeping him uh, afloat here, keeping him from getting taken down, is the fact that he has weight on this leg, right? So if I, I'm not committing by going all the way over with my arm, I'm just kind of grabbing almost like a collar tie here. And what's, his defense is going to be to straighten up. Now I can get to that angle. Okay? Once, I, once the, the offensive man, the original offensive man gets here, that's where I really start to like what he starts to do. Okay, he gets to here and he's automatically tucking this underneath the far armpit and he's trying to stack them. One of the things that I like to think about here is putting his foot on his head. I'm putting his foot right on his face. Now, this is not gonna score a fall on many guys, but what we're looking for is for his oh shit light to go off in his head. He goes from thinking, I'm defending the takedown, defending the takedown, oh shit, I'm on my back. And he starts to fish out. Okay? So you want you want that light to go off in his head where he's in danger of losing the match by fall. Um, this is where in each scramble there's probably a moment where if the offensive or defensive guy forgets about the leg that he's hanging on to and just puts his hands on the mat and, and starts to work his body position, get his body position, his head and hips above the other guy, he'll probably be in better position, but he doesn't. He hangs on to this leg. So what happens here is step four, as he holds on to this leg and can't post, the defensive or the offensive man somehow bucks himself up on top. 